Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 1st. Uh, this week, we are going to just jump right in here. Uh, I'm using the five cent tarot today. It's on the end there. And um, it's a new deck, so I got to I gotta kind of spread it out like this because it doesn't want to spread. But uh, we're going to just jump right in here, Taurus, and take a look at what's going on for you. Uh, we're going to look at your current energies with this main spread, and then we are going to clarify at the end with the Lenormand, and we are going to see what is coming up for you here, Taurus. Uh, so far, it's a really, really beautiful reading, I would say to you, Taurus, but uh, we're going to dig into this and see. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week here, Taurus. But uh, Taurus, let's see. You have this smoke and mirrors card here coming up first. And definitely love in this first row. You have the Ten of Cups, the Lovers, and the Messenger showing up. This deck has like four um, Oracle cards in it, and one of them being this Messenger card. So obviously I feel like there could be someone delivering a message coming in for you here this week. And But again, I feel like maybe they're not coming correct. So I would be careful of that here. Um, and what I'm, what I'm really getting here for you, Taurus, is again, you have the Ten of Cups, the Lovers, and the Messenger here. I feel like it's the way this person approaches you. I feel it's almost a little bit, I don't think this is a bad person per se here, Taurus. I just feel that they're kind of maybe putting on a little bit of a show with that smoke and mirrors card. Let's clarify that and see. Yeah, I would be careful in love for sure. You have this tall tale card as well. It's almost like someone could be coming in and it's like they're not who they appear or um, really the story I'm getting is that maybe they're telling you they want a family. Maybe it's a person who t has is telling you that they want certain things in a relationship, but it's just not the truth is what I'd say here. I feel like that it's a lie. The good news is you show up as the Hierophant here as the center card. It's almost like you know. I feel like you just know the truth here. I feel like you're not willing to allow someone to disturb your peace in this middle row. So I feel that you would know that someone is kind of telling you a tall tale. I feel like you would know that someone is lying to you here I feel for some of you, this has already happened. I feel like you're already in separation from a person where it's just like they cause too much disharmony. I feel that almost like it's like, here's, this is what's popping into my head for you here, Taurus, is it's almost like I feel like you saw something um, about this person and it's like the more you looked, it's like the more you opened up here, um, the, more, the more you saw. You know, there are these snakes here on this uh, card and it's almost like looking, I'm, it's almost like I'm looking at like a snake poking its head at, from under a rock. And like, I feel like the closer you look, it's like the more snakes you see under this rock. And I feel that someone kind of revealed themselves a little bit too much here. And it's like, you could see right through it. So some of you could be coming off of a, something like that. So it, like, I feel like you've already experienced this. For those of you that haven't experienced this, again, I would just be careful of someone coming in with a tall tale. Uh, next, you have the peace card here. So again, this is your focus. I feel like you are very focused on keeping the peace in your own life, maintaining your own peace as well, because you have the Hierophant here. You also have the Page of Wands, which is really interesting because I feel this Page of Wands is saying that you are kind of getting started on something, and it's like you're not willing to allow someone to come in and mess up what you are about to get started on. It's like sometimes... I feel we can get into relationships and it's like, then we start making less money <laughs> or, you know, we don't work as hard or something like that. It's like, we can get a little bit lazy and I'm not calling you lazy here, Taurus, but look, I feel like you will know that you are about to become very successful. You know that something is about to work out in your life outside of love is what I'd say here, Taurus. I feel like you're too damn busy to mess around with someone who's just telling you a tall tale. It's almost like you can see, I feel like you can see the strings, you know? There is a puppet here sitting here, and I feel like you, it, it's like you can see this person's strengths. It's like you can see that they're either trying to control you or that, you, you know, that they are being controlled. You know, the thing about toxic people is that they allow their toxicity to, to control them. They are puppets as well. So I feel you are seeing that in a person this week. Again, Page of Swords, Hierophant, um, and the Page of Wands here, you are very clear 
that you need to get to work. I feel that you see all this right here with the uh, poise card. I feel that you see something is going to be very successful. And with that chop wood card, it's like you are just kind of putting in the work with this energy. I feel that, and, and sorry, this is the queen of swords, by the way, not the page of swords. I said page of swords, but I feel that you are kind of very, very clear on what you desire and kind of like the outcome you desire here. I feel like you're being very honest with yourself with that Queen of Swords energy. I feel like you're saying, you know what? I, I don't have time to fool around with any jokers, any puppets, anything like that. So I feel like you're at least being very honest with yourself, even if you do want love with this Queen of Swords. And with the Hierophant, again, that's just you. I feel like that's you coming up in a very strong position here. I feel like you are kind of realizing your own worth with this card. It's a card of wisdom as well. So I feel like you are kind of very wise at this time. And with the uh, page of wands here, I feel like you're just taking action. It's like you're getting ready. I feel like you're ready to kind of explore. I feel like you're ready to get started on something here, whether it be kind of like a new project, a new business, pretty much anything. You know, the lovers, as I always say here, the lovers can represent being at a crossroads, having a choice to make. And, you know, for you, I feel like the choice at this time is between love and potentially um, whatever this is here. You have this nightingale spirit says love is all around you. So I feel like there are a lot of opportunities for love, but I feel like you're just being very clear about what you desire. Uh, the nightingale is also about kind of using your voice. You know, there's this like trumpet or whatever you want to call that thing there. I don't know what that is, but, um, you know, it basically to me, this is saying, that there is something that makes you unique, something that makes you special, something that could make you stand out. Here it is. It's like there's a horn right here that looks very similar to the one that's on this card here, Taurus. So I feel for some of you, it's like you are about to become an authority here. And I feel I said this to you in your February reading. It's like you are becoming an authority on something in your life. You have the Four Swords, the Justice card, and you have the emperor here. It's in, again, how crazy is that? That there is a uh, horn on this card and there's horns on that card. It's almost like you know exactly what you're going to be doing with this emperor card. This card, you know, emperor is a card of like power. It's a card of like authority. It's a card of being very sure of yourself. It's also a card of like discernment as well. So I feel like you have been resting with the four swords. It's like you've really been kind of looking uh, on the inside here. And I feel like you've been looking for your own inner truth with the justice card. The justice card is cause and effect. It's like, you know, if I put my energy into X, Y, and Z, what, you know, what, what am I going to get out? You could be looking to invest in a business. You could be looking to start a business or a job here. Or you could be trying to discover your purpose. And the justice card is like saying you are being honest with, your, with yourself. I feel like you're honestly saying to yourself, I can move the, I can tip the scales in my favor in this part of my life. So some of you are going to be probably working really hard, obviously, with the Justice card. You're going to be putting a lot of work into like business and or work. And I feel this is going to kind of put you on a pedestal here, Taurus. So I feel you're really kind of raising yourself up with this reading. Very powerful reading, very similar to uh, Virgo's reading. So again, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising if you have those in your chart. But uh, Taurus, let's see what we get going on for you here. Make sure to watch your, uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, rising. Also, make sure to drop a like. Really appreciate all the support here, Taurus. But let's see here. You have the sun. Boom. Love it. Uh, so definitely a lot of happiness. You do have the Three of Swords, again, with the Lovers and the Hierophant here. I feel like you're, it's like you see the lies in, in a person. So if you're dealing with a liar from the past, this, these are very good love cards here in this first row. But again, I do feel like you could have been dealing with a liar. Four of Cups, really simple. It's like you see the truth of a situation now with that Sun card. And I feel like you could be cutting something out, but you know, it's just for the truth. It's because of the truth. You know, look at this whole middle row here, the lovers, the Hierophant, the justice card. It's like the truth is being revealed here to you either about a person or about love in general. And you are being very, I feel like you're being very clear with the Queen of Swords about exactly who you're willing to accept in your life, exactly who you're not willing to accept in your life here as well. Again, we're going through, we're going to be going through Mercury retrograde. And during these retrograde periods, 
you know, we can gain a lot of clarity. You know, retrogrades are known for confusion, but we can actually, the, the reason is so we can gain clarity. <laughs> so really, retrogrades are about clarity. And I feel like you are being very, very clear. It's like you have woken up. It's almost like you are being enlightened as to what uh, you want in love, in relationships, and also all a other areas of your life as well. The truth, Ace of Swords. So definitely a very much a truth type of reading. Doesn't really surprise me that all these cards, they, like over the past few weeks, the readings have all been about like the truth, truth coming out, like many of them. And I feel like this is because of the astrology. Again, we have a lot of stuff that could be bringing the truth out. We have, you know, over the next couple of years, we'll even have like more stuff moving through Aquarius and Pisces, which, you know, is like the 12th house, a lot of hidden things, right? But then it's gonna move into Aries after that. And it's like, there's gonna be a lot of clarity and, you know, kind of like awakening. So I feel that this is kind of like a collective energy where, you know, a lot of truths are being revealed at this time. Even the whole like Saturn Pluto thing that we had, um, same thing. I mean, that's all about like the truth coming out and with, you know, Saturn Pluto Uranus square that we had um, over this last, you know, for like a while, actually, we've been dealing with this energy. It's all about the truth coming out, truth being revealed. So I feel for a lot of you in your personal life, it's like there are truths coming out. You have the Queen of Wands, being very sure of yourself here. Love it. And you have the judgment card. Like I said, almost like a wake-up call. I said that up here. So I feel for some of you, you are kind of going through this judgment period. Queen of Wands is about you, number one, being very attractive. So if you're looking for love, I feel like you're very attractive at this time here, Taurus. And you could be attracting new love into your life. So I definitely like to see that. Uh, this could also be wholehearted energy. Queen of Wands. She represents being very sure of yourself. She represents putting everything you got into something like work and projects and business and all that other stuff. So I feel like you are very sure of yourself with that Queen of Wands energy. I feel like you know your worth, you know what you want out of life, and I feel you're just like charging towards it here. The Judgment card is a wake-up call. Again, definitely some sort of truth has been revealed here, I feel, um, you know, especially if it's dealing with like a past person here. I really feel that the lies were probably, you know, maybe they told you they wanted a family, or maybe they kind of had, you know, they told you certain things that, that maybe were expectations. Maybe you expected certain things, maybe they expected certain things, but I feel what they told you was either more for control or it was kind of like more about like a lie, you know? And I, or, you know, I, I feel it was just straight up lying, plain and simple, kind of like manipulation energy, like I said. Uh, I feel like you are kind of more focused on your well-being uh, with that Queen of Wands. I feel like you're more focused on you, and there's nothing wrong with that, Taurus. You have the Two Wands. You are ready to step off into the future, ready to take control, ready to take the lead. Seven of Pentacles here. Like I said, I feel you are definitely analyzing things with this Justice card. Seven of Pentacles, card of analysis. He's looking at these Pentacles, and he's saying, is it worth it? I feel in the future, moving forward, in all situations, not just love, with the Justice card, I feel like you are going to put energy in. And if you don't get energy back, I feel like you're going to kick it to the curb, right? Whatever it is. So I feel for a lot of you, this is a very matter-of-fact energy, I feel, for you here, Taurus. You're being very sure of yourself. It's very powerful. And you have the Sagittarius card as well. A lot of cards balance. So I do feel that you are coming into balance here, Taurus, or it's like you're very focused on balancing out your own life. I feel like you're very focused on kind of creating things as well. I, it's almost like you're taking your power back here, Taurus. It's like sometimes I think with a reading like this, it's kind of saying to me that maybe in the past you have kind of relied on other people to move the needle forward, so to speak. It's like you've allowed other people to decide when things would happen in your life. You would allow other people to, you know, allow to bring, allow them to bring love into your life or whatever. Um, I feel like you're, this is more of a control type of reading, but in a good way, especially with this emperor here. I feel like that's the energy you're stepping into with the emperor. I feel like this is positive control. Like I said, it, I just feel like you're not waiting for things. It's just that simple with this. It's like you are realizing that you control your own destiny and you're no longer going to be controlled by things that uh, don't, shouldn't, shouldn't be controlling you and like this stuff in the past. So you're really taking control here, really kind of uh, taking the lead. This is a very powerful reading. Like I said, uh, very similar to, um, you know, Virgo's reading, but I feel like you've been thinking a lot about this and I really like this for you. Very powerful, very kind of empowering type of energy here. So I love it. You have the Nine of Pentacles, pre-empress energy. Like I said, taking the lead. You have this star, damn. 
here, Taurus. This is amazing. And the death card, major transformation. So very transformative energy that you're going through. Stepping into a period of like gratitude, luxuries, the nicer things, the star, probably just standing out at this time. Again, when we, this is my thing. This is like why I don't usually do love readings and, unless it shows up and, and things like that. Because to me, it's like when we get this type of energy that you have here, everything will be attracted to you. Everything you desire will come into your life. This is why I don't need to do love readings because I tell people to you know take their power back and things like that. Once you do that, once you start demanding your worth and your value, once you stop giving energy to things that don't give energy to you, everything else falls into place you know by default. It's like if you do this, if you queen of wands, which it looks like you're doing, uh, then love shows up, right? If you queen of wands and empress, pre-empress, but you know I feel like you're stepping into this empress energy, then money shows up. It's because of the, you know, I feel like what I'm trying to say is that this change is happening because you are changing on a very deep level. And that's what's most important here. So I love this reading for you, Taurus, really powerful. So thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Really appreciate all the support. But thank you, Taurus, and definitely enjoy your week.